as you may know, Blizzard is already working on the next expansion after the Dragon Fight. We had learned this months ago. With the current patch schedule for 2023, it is likely that the new expansion will be announced this year during BlizzCon. They said they no longer want to contain villains and features in a single expansion and to abandon it after, and instead expansions are going to kind of work more like patches adding onto each other, so it's going to be a bit more seamless. This means that Dragon Riding may be added to the rest of Azeroth, which could prompt a world revamp that is long awaited. This could be triggered by Azeroth Awakening, which could be the Shattering 2.0. Furthermore, recent hints show a potential Black Empire Old God expansion with a possible Void Invasion. There are possibilities for Avaloran, a new continent, a new zone, time travel and a few other things. So what is going to be the next expansion after Dragonfly? Some would say it is too early to start discussing the next expansion, as you know, the Dragon Fight only started a few months back, but I don't really think that is the case. The only early part would be that we still don't know how exactly Dragon Fight will unravel, everything is mysterious at the moment, but other than that, we already have a bunch of hints for what could be happening. So, if you've been following the news lately, you might have heard that Blizzard is actually already working on the next expansion. We had learned that fact months ago. It is uncertain at what stage of production the expansion is at, at the moment, but I'm guessing it is deep development at this point, could really even be half finished as far as we know. In fact, seeing that BlizzCon is finally returning after the huge break, it is almost certain that they're going to have the big new expansion announcement, especially since they confirmed a year earlier that they're already working on it. It also sort of perfectly aligns with the roadmap we were given for Dragonflight. I'm guessing patch 10.1 is going to come out sometime during May more than likely, and we could see patch 10.2 coming right around BlizzCon, which means that the storyline will probably be wrapping up around or at least the main portion and we might just have like a flavor patch until the next expansion is released. Now there have actually been some structural changes at Blizzard that I gotta say is actually the amazing news. They promised a much more efficient content release schedule and you might have kind of noticed that with Dragonflight already. 10.0 came out two months ago, we already have 10.0.5 and 10.0.7 is being data mined as we speak. However, the biggest change and something that we had never seen with WoW in the past is the fact that they plan to completely just restructure the concept of World of Warcraft expansions. Blizzard, rightfully so, noticed that the biggest issue with every WoW expansion is that almost exclusively they were just one-off content. So one major villain we defeated, then we just abandoned that zone, go into another and just rinse and repeat. This naturally created a huge problem for them as not only can you essentially not have a world ending threat every two years that is something completely different but you also just get a lot of abandoned content and abandoned features that just become completely obsolete for example like garrisons so the new idea is that they plan to make expansions a lot more seamless so one will bleed into the other which means that while a huge threat has been hinted at in dragon fight we might only see it in the next one or fight it in the next one and this has already kind of been the case. Steve Denuser in a recent interview confirmed that Nazoth has been talking about the same big what is to come that the Jailer left us with at the end of Shadowlands and it is very likely that this massive villain, whoever he is, will continue to be present even after Dragonflight. Now of course it is still a bit too early to say but I think we can safely say that while the dragons are the team of obviously Dragonflight, of course the main storyline is going to be the old gods and the titans and the order they had established on Azeroth in the ancient past. We are now kind of digging into those foundations. This has been super consistent with all the content that was released. We have the Primalist talking about how the Titans enslaved Azeroth. We got a bunch of new Titan lore. We got the possible return of the Titan Keeper tier in the very near future. We have a ton of Old God hints and Altarian using Old God stuff. We have the potential of the return of the Black Empire. And really, all the hints that we have for the future are related to these things. So, if we take this information into account, what are the the most realistic possibilities we could have for the next expansion. While the Black Empire is no longer ruling Azeroth, you can start ruling right now from your phone with Clash Royale, this video sponsor, and possibly one of the most entertaining ways to pass your time, which of course you can get with my link below or the QR code right on the screen. 
Not many of you actually know, but I've actually been playing Clash of Clans pretty much since the game was released and I've only recently gotten into Clash Royale and I was just blown away how ridiculously simple this game is, yet it is just so addicting and entertaining. Generally, with mobile games, you need at least a few hours to grasp everything, but here I was literally just intuitively feigning attacks with giants while sending up Pekka to destroy the other tower. The premise of the game is very simple. It's a multiplayer PvP mode. You have three towers and you want to destroy the enemy towers before he destroys yours so super simple but nonetheless there is so much strategy involved in that task that if you get too offensive for example your defenses are going to suffer but if you get too defensive you're really not going to get anywhere you can collect and upgrade cards featuring units spells defenses and then you can combine them to figure out the perfect strategy best of all of course you can join clans there are multiple game modes you can play 2v2 and it can get pretty competitive don't get fooled by the simplicity and the straightforwardness of clash royale it can be pretty hard once you get advanced however it is literally a perfect game to get some pvp vibe going while not taking much of your time and the games only really last a few minutes so it's never been a better time to start make sure to click my link below or just scan the qr code on the screen and start playing clash royale Well, at the moment, a lot of things are really hinting at a Void-related invasion or something with the Black Empire. This has been one of the oldest speculations with the Light versus the Void expansion, which at the moment seems to be a bit more in the background, at least the Light stuff, and right now we are kind of more on the Void side. We know that the Old Gods can't truly be defeated, so it's likely that even the supposed dead Old God Yashiraj is still around to some extent. There have been new whispers, and it is likely that they're trying to bring free and to finally do something my original speculation was that they plan to unleash themselves and then combine their energies for a massive void invasion of azeroth i think this would be an incredibly interesting concept as you may know void lords are said to be some of the most powerful beings if not the most powerful beings in the entire universe in fact so powerful that it is almost impossible for them to manifest themselves in the material plane we had a quote from zelata that said everything we know about them have been just hints and tiny glimpses but if we ever saw their true strength our mortal mind would not be able to comprehend it this could be a super cool expansion it could be like legion 2.0 but even more insane void invasions are technically even worse than legion invasions we know one example where they attack the ethereal planet and essentially destroy the planet and the ethereal physical forms so if these guys came in they wouldn't be sending spaceships through the broken isles and go then but they would work at essentially draining the planet i'm guessing the only thing we could do is stop the new black empire that empowers them and enables them to do this entire invasion stuff now that would have been a good idea however now with the recent interview i think this is actually a bit less likely steve the Deducer actually came out with a bit of a lore bomb that kind of went under the radar and that is that the old gods are not the void lord minions that we previously believed they were they as beings of chaos are known to change their plans on the fly they don't really know about rigid hierarchies and at this point it is even likely they don't even serve them whatsoever they might have even rebelled as far as we know this means that if a black empire expansion happened the old gods might not be trying to bring the void lords but they may be trying to usurp their position and become even more powerful than them with the help of azeroth and kind of using azeroth as their base of operations to establish themselves as the big players now the second expansion concept is in regards to really the most popular idea currently around the wow community and that is a world revamp this in itself is not exactly a full expansion concept but it will be like a feature of any of the other expansion ideas the reality is that wow by the time the next expansion comes out is literally going to be like 20 years old and while the cataclysm revamped a lot of the old zones some are still stuck in 2004 and even those updated cataclysm zones are going to be nearly 15 years old at that point as well now when you compare this to some of the more recent cities like Soramar or Waldraken or the recent updated assets in Dragonfight, you might realize just how insane the visual difference just is. Seeing that Blizzard started adding the trading post by slightly updating cities, this could be the first baby step. Furthermore, Blizzard said they plan to eventually make dragon riding accessible to other parts of Azeroth, as it would be stupid if we just learn this new feature and it's just gone after we're done with the Dragon Isles. In fact, this is a part of their new development philosophy, they don't want to make features that are only meant for one expansion i'm guessing 
with dragon riding we would need a significant restructure of the old world for it to work i also think this would be a huge selling point for a new expansion as it might bring back a lot of the old players the only issue i really have with this is i'm not sure how much resources blizzard really has for this stuff as they said when they did this with cataclysm it was an insane amount of work but i don't think it would be impossible it would just be a lot of work in fact this might actually be better than finding yet another island that we didn't know about and instead it might be better to bring back the old zones now how could this work in regards to expansions one of the ideas could be azeroth awakening which could trigger the shattering 2.0 just worse and that that could completely reshape the planet or if we go by the void black empire innovation concept a shattering could happen with the old gods breaking free so a lot of zones would change which would be excused they would need to update them and some of the zones could become a part of the newly established black empire now, something on a bit of a different side and maybe a bit more traditional could be this Avaloran zone that has been hinted at. If you're watching this a few months later and it turns out this is just a random part of Dagon Isles and it's obviously going to be stupid. But apparently, there is this area that the Titan Rebels have taken known as Avaloran. It could be an island or an underground zone or that could be an entire expansion as well, an underground thing. And this could be in an entire Titan Rebel civilization, which could be something unlike anything we had seen before. Furthermore, there is always the good old time travel. Personally, I wouldn't like this as Worlds of Dendor really messed up a lot of the lore with this time travel stuff. However, recently time travel has been a caught topic and we're learning that, for example, the Bronze Dragons are serving the Titans and trying to keep us in one strict timeline while the Infinites are trying to show us all the possibilities. If this balance break, we could maybe get an ancient Azeroth expansion. This could be the Black Empire expansion or some other really interesting event, possibly the first ordering of Azeroth by the Titans. This could also be how Blizzard could implement the Black Empire expansion. It would be sort of like a budget version as they wouldn't need to revamp the entire planet. But once again, it could be confusing, which could distance a lot of players naturally. Now, most recently, if you've been following the news, we got some documents in 10.0.7, which is coming out quite soon. It talks about how the Titans couldn't really contain the old gods and the elementals, as we had previously believed. They hadn't really imprisoned them as well as we thought. And apparently, there is something hidden that lies beyond the waves that the Titans have been hiding from everyone, and they just pretended they managed to fully order Azeroth. Now, while this could, of course, be just a zone that we could see implemented in one of the dragonfly patches it could also be a huge setup for the next expansion for a really long time there was the theory that there is the so-called dark side the other side of azeroth where the sailors go and they never return it is entirely possible that the titans couldn't shape the entirety of the calendar mega continent and they had to hide a certain black empire old god elemental area somewhere with some sort of a cloaking mechanism and just delete it from history so that no one searches for it sort of sweeping it under the rug. As we get further and further into Dragon Fight, we might learn what that is exactly. However, there is a huge possibility that we could get the Dark Side of Azeroth expansion, where we could get yet another continent, and where we might be able to discover primordial Azeroth in its true form. What the planet really was like, maybe even before the Black Empire and the Titan Ordering. Of course, it's just speculation at this point in time, but there is definitely a lot of potential that could happen with this, and we could get something really unique if done right. Other than this, we always have the Light and the Void, which has been one of the more popular speculations. There could be the consistent theme of us fighting for ourselves and trying to break free from all these forces trying to pose their bill on us, so that could be an interesting concept as well. So, fighting both the Titans and the Old Gods and the Light and just fighting for life as a force, our side, just life. However, in my opinion, I feel like the Black Empire Old Gods Void Lords is the most likely direction Blizzard could take with World of Warcraft at this point. Thank you for watching, check out the Netherist and the Dead Lords returning in Dragon 5 by clicking on the screen and check out the Lords Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.